is it a seller's market and do I really care? <laughs> hey, it's Rob Guilty. It's all about property. It's all about fun. It's all about Cape Town. Let's get to it, guys. So, one thing that I've figured out is that real estate agents will go to the client and tell them it's a seller's market or it's a buyer's market and because it's this market x y and z is going to happen right particularly the buyer's market one. Well, it's a buyer's market so you've got to bring your price down and um, you know the thing with this is it's a bit like going to your client uh, as a mechanic and tell them I'm going to rebore the cylinders I'm going to put oversized 25 thou pistons in and change the rings and the client's doesn't care as long as you fix the engine and the same thing goes for the damn property man you know the seller's not really that interested in whether it's a buyer or seller's market most of the time they're just interested in selling their home and this is where a problem comes in all right because we use all this technical jargon and all this stuff to tell the clients they don't even know what you're talking about. Hey, it's coffee with Rob. Let's have some coffee. Always a good idea, eh? Hmm. If this video comes out late, it's because this damn PC is packing up. Ordered the parts. We'll do an unboxing. <laughs> anyway, so here's the thing with buyers and sellers markets. First thing you've got to understand is what is a buyers and sellers market? And it's pretty straightforward. It's a, there's a hell of a lot of property on the market for sale. Um, it's going to be a buyer's market and vice versa if there's nothing to sell it's going to be a, a seller's market and does that really depict the price no it depicts availability and choice okay so if it's a buyer's market it might take a little bit longer to sell your home if it's priced correctly even because there's lots of choice let's be let's be straightforward about it and your price has got to be spot on if it's a seller's market then you're sitting with a bit of a more comfortable position as a seller where you can um, put a very relevant price on and someone will come along and buy it because there's nothing else to buy right if yours is the only let's, let's let's make it simple if yours is the only one to sell surely it's going to sell to someone right because there's a hell of a lot of buyers looking for something to buy but it's irrelevant at the end of the day because it's supply and demand it really doesn't matter whether it's a seller's market or a buyer's market the only way to sell your home is if you price it correctly. Again, it's what it is, where it is, and the size, and what your neighbors are selling their properties for at the time. Prices go up and down over the years. They do not stay the same. So what Joe sold it for last year might not be what you're gonna sell it for this year. And you'll be thinking, oh, I'm gonna get more. No, not necessarily, you might get less because the market goes up and down. It's a bit like the stock market. It moves around. It doesn't stay in one place. But that said, we still get an average price from what's selling a comparative market analysis. And that's the price you're going to sell your house for. So does it really matter if it's a seller's or a buyer's market? The only way it's going to really matter to you, if you're selling in a seller's market, you're probably going to sell it quicker because yours is the only house to sell. And in a buyer's market, like I say, it might stand a bit longer because there's lots of availability and choice. So that's where the problem comes in. And um, there's, there's, I don't see any necessity whatsoever to worry yourself about that. Is it a buyer's market? Is it a seller's market? Why are you concerning yourself with stuff like this? If you're selling your home, you just want the right price and you want to get it sold. It doesn't matter what market it is, when it is. And that's another thing, you know, when should I sell it through the year? Do you care? I mean, everybody needs to sell their home or buy a home at some time in the year, whether it's winter, Christmas, Easter, January, July. People need to buy and sell homes, okay? People move on, people change jobs, people, people pass away, people, depart people divorce these things happen in life okay and homes need to be sold and homes need to be purchased <clears throat> people need to stay somewhere it's a roof over the head so 
You know, we always worry about these technicalities and um, I find that calling it a buyer's market is a great excuse to say you've got to bring your price down. No, you know why you've got to bring your price down? You've got to bring your price down because you're not going to sell your home. Okay, and it's a simple thing. If you walk into a shop and they're selling a box of matches and you want to buy that box of matches and you know that every cafe in the country sells them for 50 cents and this guy says, this is one rand. Are you going to buy it? You sh you're going to think, no, I can't get the 50 cent one, mate. You know, and that's the problem. So if you're selling your home too expensive, it doesn't matter what market you're in, whether you're in a buyer's market, a seller's market, a neutral market, a, I don't know, a moon market. If your house is too expensive, no one's going to buy it. No one's going to come look at it. No one's going to be interested. Sell it at the right price, and then it doesn't matter what market you're in. You'll sell it, okay? And it's simple to sell it at the right price. That's what the agent's there for. They're going to tell you what the price is supposed to be. Okay? Listen to them. They sell other houses in the area. Look for yourself. Go onto the property portals and see what houses, not what they're for sale for, what they sold for. There is an area there where you can check what houses actually sold for because that's the important part where you always make the mistake is you go in and you say, look at this house, it's for sale at that price. Look at this house, it's for sale at that price. Yes, it's still for sale. It's not sold, is it? Gosh, what's sold? That's the price. What people were prepared to pay for it, that's the price. Not what's for sale. For sale, I can put anything for sale at any price. I can put my glasses on the market now for sale for 500,000 rand. Are you gonna buy them? No. Put them on for a hundred rand, you might buy them. Get it? Right. So what's for sale doesn't matter. So you'll go onto Gumtree and you'll see my glasses for 500,000 rand and say, ooh, I can sell mine for 500,000 rand too. It's not sold, is it? It's for sale. <laughs> get it through, guys. Think about it. So get the price right according to what's been sold in the area. What's sold then you know what people are paying, then you know what the real value is. And if that price doesn't suit you, it's simple, don't sell. Then your house is not for sale, then you're keeping it, okay? Because it's a dream to think that if a house is worth two million rand, I'm gonna put it on for three million rand and some idiot's gonna walk in and buy it. It's a dream. I mean, you're dreaming, it's not going to happen, right? Buyers aren't stupid, they're just human beings like everyone else and they're, they're actually cleverer than real estate agents, they know more about the value of property than anyone else. <laughs> so guys, keep it in mind, does it really matter to me? No, it doesn't give a damn actually. It does, you know, it does sort of, all it is is like, you know what's happening in the market, it's a bit like the stock market, you know, if the economy is good or bad, you know, who cares. But as long as you know, in the back of your mind, you know where, what, where you're working and what kind of situation you're in. But if you're selling at home, it really, really, really doesn't matter. You shouldn't care. So guys, with that, I hope that helps. By the way, if you're a real estate agent, go down, check the book out, Millionaire Real Estate Agent. It's in the description. Fantastic book. It's really going to help you with your career. And um, it's, just, it's just a great book to read. That's all. So that's the only reason I'm, I'm tipping it off. Other than that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you get all these videos first. And thanks for watching. It's Rob Guilty. Till next time. Cheers.